hi <laughs> welcome to another vlog it is 20 to 7 jesus christ it's 20 to 7 but yeah it is 20 to 7 which i did not realize <laughs> So I'm a little bit more about what I should do next. Technically, I should be editing and I'm uploading a little vlog that I've done yesterday. But currently, my subscribers are not getting the notifications that I have posted unless they press the button because there's something wrong with my YouTube. I might try uploading a little video from a different browser. I don't think that that's gonna fix it because Google checked and it's like... Because YouTube checked and they know that this is up. Um, I was supposed to also film today, but I didn't. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I pretty much had like maybe an hour of sleep last night. I'm actually feeling relatively okay. I had like a mental break, <laughs> a little mental breakdown around like 1 p.m. But like otherwise, I feel like fairly okay considering. But yeah, I couldn't fall asleep and then I was like drenched in sweat. But I've started beta blockers as a preventative course for migraines so i'm thinking it might be either that because i've just started it on saturday or sometimes your hormones go a bit wild just before you get your period so you know maybe i will edit a video then even if i'm not gonna upload it i'm gonna edit a video um and then the rest of the evening as much time as i have for it i want to do some tarot readings and reading in general so excited maybe this might even have reading in a title you will know i don't know yet we'll see how this week goes hello it is actually quarter to nine i cannot believe it i did a little tester it was actually named test so if you spotted that well done it was there for a very very brief second it didn't work it was, i still got an error that is like if you want to share this please um publish it publicly which i always do but they just disagree with me um but i did do one um harry potter template for instagram so that was that was fun instead of editing which i'm gonna regret later on big time but um you guys been enjoying those templates quite a bit on instagram i think which is really really awesome so i thought i'm gonna squeeze one in you know i have a little shitty pizza in the oven now half of it um it's like 380 calories or something so that is not too bad and i think because it's like closing nine soon i think i'm gonna eat that i think i'm gonna sit down light a candle do my little um tarot spread because it's the third of june and i want to do that for for the month of uh, June sooner rather than later because I've been because I already feel like I've kept that for way too long then after that I want to read because because I feel I feel like it's been ridiculously long until I finished anything not having it anymore I am um, dedicated on finishing something today not today sorry this week um, I don't know what that's gonna be hopefully hopefully something um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll see what i'm gonna decide on reading but i'm gonna do my little tarot spread i might explain it to you would you like that again i probably will just <laughs> put that at the end of the vlog i feel like every vlog now is gonna have something to do with that but it's like a thing i'm exploring and a thing that's been helping me so why not share it hello welcome to tuesday i have actually just finished work i have filmed two videos during my lunch break which is great i've done the ravenclaw recommendations that's hopefully up by now if not spoiler alert the next house is ravenclaw um and i also filmed my wrap up that's definitely should be up before this um i'm going to i just sort of like written down here what i need to edit because i kind of got lost with all of the videos that i filmed that i haven't had a chance to edit edit the raven claws recommendation because it has the um it has the skillshare spawn in it so i need to send it out for approval so they see that i not lied about something about their service basically is what it is i also on that note thank you guys so much for always being being so so amazing and not judgmental when i do these sponsorships i really am picky about sponsorships i do not take 
ones just cuz because I know it's such a controversial topic for some and some viewers give like a lot of crap to creators for doing that but like it is what it is if something helps me buy cat food I really appreciate the help, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for always being so amazing about these things and so understanding and so rational. Yeah, but I, this is basically it. Yesterday I was like, and I'm gonna read, like literally what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? I just went to bed, but to be honest, I only slept like one hour. I slept much better today. Still woke up plentiful. Currently I am making myself a leek and potato soup, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, I think my plan today is really just a lot of editing. So I'm not gonna even say that I'm gonna read, but fingers crossed you girl read something today, cause wow. Um, I would also like to do a little bit of a legs day at home here. I just need more hours in a day or a proper working time turner. If so, my birthday is coming up, if someone would please send me a working time turner, that would be perfect <laughs> yay soup i got myself a very big bowl because i did not eat much during lunch um but it's legitimately just potato leek and then i also added chili powder just a bit um a lot of smoked paprika and garlic powder and like recommend <laughs> it is nine o'clock and i have edited not one not two but three videos baby i uploaded one today i submitted the one that i needed to submit and i have edited the one for tomorrow have not uploaded or prepared it yet but it is edited so all i need is to do the thumbnail the description bar info and like the socials and whatnot later but i have made a big big ass progress today with the stuff that i was behind still need to do quite a bit tomorrow but i'm getting there so that's great because it was getting a little bit stressy had some hummus with some cheese and some crackers that was really nice and um since it's nine o'clock i really don't want to exercise and get my like body all active before bed especially because i've been struggling sleeping um so in and actually i do have makeup today so i will do it tomorrow i'll probably have a no makeup day i'm gonna um most likely and i'm going to try and exercise during my lunch break so that is a goal i'm saying out loud so i do it it is nine o'clock can have a couple of hours hopefully of reading so hey but i'm gonna do it now so there's no other step in between of this i'm gonna go and i'm gonna do it now <laughs> so i'm thinking what i should read because my options are either um oh my god i need to go to goodreads and know what i'm reading at the moment wow but yeah i am currently either reading brief answers to the big questions which i don't know if i want to read like now and god's grave so i could actually start another book that's like a different because god's grave is also an audiobook so i can save that for when i can't physically read but i am sort of swapping in between so i could read that but if not what should i read i have decided to go with god's grave i'm on page 50 so let's let's do some reading normal cat behavior. Hey buddy. Having fun. Mm -hmm. Having fun. Buddy. She's like the hand stopped. <laughs> yes. And it's, it's completely cabbaged. What's that? What's it, mama? Look at this. It's like a baby. Yes, it is a baby. Hey, buddy. No, <laughs> don't touch it with your nose. Okay, that's enough. How's the feel about them? Mm. Hey, buddy. No, I want them to relax on the chest. What's the time? Midnight. Okay, Four so. Four past midnight. Quarter past midnight. 17 um, minutes past midnight. 
uh, I'm on page 96 now. I've met a couple of characters from the first book, which was pretty cool. I've... <laughs> I actually thought that I missed something while listening to the audiobook, so I asked Logan what this character that was only referred to by nickname, because I thought I missed it. So I asked what that character is, and I accidentally got spoiled <laughs> for... but yeah, doesn't matter. I know quite a few spoilers about this book to begin with, so it's fine. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far, actually. Um, fairly a slow read for me. First of all, like, the font is not the biggest, for sure. The page is, like, very full. But also the writing style is... It can be a little bit jarring, although I'm finding it, like, okay for the most part. <laughs> look and look. That's gonna be it for tonight. So I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna head to bed. But happy that I've done some reading finally. Um, doesn't look like a big dent in the book just yet, but better than nothing. Hello, it's actually uh, Thursday now. Uh, really not much happened yesterday. I booked my tickets to see my family again for my mom's 60th. So that's exciting because I'm actually quite like homesick recently. Logan was able to pick up my post. I actually got a message from the post people saying there's parcels for you there for a while now. And I'm sorry, I just don't, I don't know when things get there. I would really, should, I should really check more often. But I got some parcels to open. One was actually sent to me a while back. One was sent to me um, directly here and I know that it's AJ and Bunny behind it. So I'm super excited to what's inside of it, just destroying the envelope, that's fine. Fancy. This one says, Dear Gantare, after the most recent examinations, owls bombarded our department day and night, all filled with the highest of praise for how you organized and ran this examination period. As a result, I have petitioned the minister and he, along with everyone else at the ministry, agreed that you should be recognized for your significant effort. You have been awarded the Order of Maryland First Class. Congratulations, we'll be in contact to organize a formal presentation ceremony. Sincerely, Barbarous Abbott, Department of Education, Ministry of Magic. That is so cool. Oh, and they actually made like a little, um, oh, two, one with my full name, which I'm not gonna show, and one which is my first name. That's that. Ah, that is so cool, that is so pretty as well. Oh. I'm I'm a frame this at some point. I don't know if I can now because I can't hang stuff, but this is definitely gonna go wherever I go. That is so cute. You guys are so cute. Also got a bunch of yellow paper just for fancies. <laughs> but yeah, it says this is to certify that my name um has hereby been awarded Order of Maryland First Class for services to magical education. That is so cute. Thank you both. I am very honored <laughs> And once again, it's definitely my pleasure um, to organize these, but that is so cute. I definitely don't think I deserve the first class, Order of Merlin first class, but I'll take it. Okay, next up, um, I have this parcel from Claudia from France. So let me open that. Oh, there's actually an Etsy and Instagram page as well, so the details. Let's see what's inside, and this is, the card is really beautiful and elegant. Oh, cute! Okay, I think this is gonna be like a... So, let's open this one first. <laughs> it's a happy birthday, um, the happy birthday Harry card. There is a letter, which I'm gonna quickly read now. She's a graphic designer, an embroidery maker, and of course a potter head. She did a collection of embroideries based on the Harry Potter universe, and I thought this Honey Duke's one should be perfect for your magical bookshelf. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, I also did an embroidery kit and thought you will like it, uh, like it a try. I promise it's easy, it evaporates all the stress of your life. The text is in French, but I think with the picture it will be okay. Uh, it's a little gift to say thank you for your super, for your super content. I always look forward to see to seeing your upcoming videos and magical pictures. Lots of love, Claudia. Lots of love back. That is so cute, guys. Let me open it up. Oh, I love that. Like it's in a little, what's it called? Like I'm very bad with the terminology of these kind of things, but, but look, 
How cool! This is gonna go perfectly on my shelf. Where I can see already like a Deathly Hollows name, uh, name, sign, and there's gonna be instructions inside. I don't want to open because I know I will lose it. If that's something you guys would be interested in, definitely check out Instagram and the Etsy page of Claudia's because that is so cool. Thank you so much. Then I have a letter from. Louisa Coot. Ooh, look how beautiful. Oh, that is a stunning card. <laughs> Dear G, I finally found the card I've been wanting to send you for ages. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Louisa, and for sending a card and for your previous parcel. It's just so extremely kind of you. And you guys always just like, I don't know what to say other <laughs> than thank you. Last but definitely not least, there's this package. Um, I have no idea what's inside, but it's soft and squishy. <laughs> and this one is from Gonzalo, so really beautiful packaging. And it says the witching cabin on it. Ooh. Oh my god, no. Topper. Is this what I think it is? <gasps> no. <laughs> okay. Um, I think if you peek through it, just as I did now. I think we have a, a feeling of what this is. Oh my god. <laughs> this is... Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What the hell? Okay, this came from Spain. No letter of explanation anywhere. I'm very confused. Very happy, but very confused. This is like a homemade um, sweater. Obviously a Weasley sweater with a G. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's in Gryffindor colors. It has a G. It's very homemade. The Witch's Cabin is the shop. I really need to check it out like as soon as possible. I'm gonna check it out now. I'm also gonna check my Instagram DMs because I really get lost there in case they did send this to me. I don't know if it's the shop or if it's one of you guys. I need an explanation here. <laughs> okay. I can't find it anyway. I can't find it on Instagram. I don't know. Maybe it goes under a different name or maybe this is somebody who just like made it themselves and just had a stamp that says the witch's cabin. I don't know. Am I missing something? If some, if, if a person who sent this to me is watching, please let me know so I can thank you. Hopefully we're gonna have a really cold day soon because it's actually quite warm, but I'm gonna put it on now, obviously. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. <gasps> Look at that! I love it! It's definitely really like um, cozy. <laughs> like it looks like Molly made it. It's perfect, thank you! Oh, did you see the one like one? I almost wonder where it came from. Mm -hmm. Hello, it is Friday, my dudes, and I am working, but I just got some mail, so I thought I'll sit down and open that with you, because this is glossy box, so this I was not supposed to get, but I didn't cancel it in time before the next payment came in, because I couldn't really afford this this month, but I didn't cancel in time, so I canceled it, um after I got a notification for this, but it's not that I don't, I, I really do enjoy them. So hopefully, hopefully it's something super useful inside. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's the glossy box. So let us open it up. This is how it looks like. Glossy boxes, by the way, I think it's UK and US, like they like have separate places for them. Um, but it's basically a, um, like a beauty or self-care type of subscription box. It's just a little bit over 10 pounds. I believe it's like 20 to 12 or something like that. I love testing some products that I wouldn't really know about, especially, I especially love like creams and stuff, like skincare. So the first one is the Avant um, Pro Collagen Isodot Decane, I don't know, what are you? Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer, ooh interesting that's how this looks like i'm always up to try a new primer it's a really nice size for a primer as well is this maybe full size probably not oh it is it's a full size one. Oh my god what 
It retails for 85 pounds? Excuse me? Let me check that. I can't be right. If it is, why? When you put it on, does it cure your depression? Because like, what? Advanced skincare. Oh my god. It is 85 pounds. But that is not how it looks like on there. But it is. It's 30 milliliters. So it's the same size, it's just a different packaging. So it comes in like a fancier tube. Well, at the box definitely paid off because I paid only over tenner here. So not complaining, but this better do miracles. Wow, okay. Um, next up is a little face form contouring and blushing palette from Sleek. I don't think it's my favorite brand, but I'm excited to test it out. So there's... Oh, it's in fair, which is great because girl is fair. Oh, but it's really cool. Like, it actually looks... Ooh, that's quite nice. Can't really see, but let's see the highlight. Oh, the highlight is very, very subtle. And then the blush also looks really nice. Fair go. I'm enjoying that as like a lot. So, so far it's definitely already worth it. I'm happy that I accidentally bought this. <laughs> then there is another mask. Got a mask and I love masks. Healthy hair deep conditioner actually. Um, so papaya, acai berry and mongostine oil for all hair types. So I love a good mask. Two last items. The This one is Model & Co lip cream. Peachy nude. Oh, yes please. Ooh, nice. Okay. What are you though? Lip cream sounds intimidating. I don't know how I'll feel about it. I don't know if the color will fit me. It would fit my like dress today. Should I try it on? I'll try it on in a second. And then lastly, we have the eyeshadow Meech and Mia. Never heard of the brand. It's an eyeshadow pencil. Not biggest fan of eyeshadow pencils, but um here for you to change my mind pencil mm, i don't think i'll be carrying this around with me like it's nice but it's quite like hard it's just not really for me i, I would just take a palette with me so, but that is the only item that i'm not really into i'm excited to see how this one wears and love a mask this is incredible value apparently and then sleek palette i'm very excited about trying as well and it's super affordable if you want to try it as well from a drugstore interesting i'll link them down below if you want to check them out this is the color i like the color but i'll see how it'll wear my natural lips are actually quite dark so it's kind of hard for me to wear anything that's like lighter but we'll see if we get the butthole in a bit i like the color though so happy with this box nice okay back to work hey guys it is saturday it's actually six o'clock on saturday which is mind-blowing to me yesterday all evening we basically watched well binge watched the whole season of um oh my god what's it called good omens <laughs> um it was fun yeah very very british uh we appreciate that kind of humor so we definitely enjoyed it i don't think it's like my favorite show of all times but i it was really good like i enjoyed it a lot so thank you everyone who has um said that i would like to watch that because i did so i washed my hair and dried it so i'm just like in a bun because <laughs> i haven't like sorted it yet but uh i'm about to go to the shop just so i can get like a little walk as well um and also to get a couple of things including eye drops i can be productive in the meantime but i wanted to let you know that i actually done some reading in the morning so i sat for like a couple of hours i think while logan was still sleeping i sort of read in the bed so i was like on page 80 or something on this uh, of the brief answers to the short questions to the big question sorry um yeah i think it was from here to here that i read this on now on page 145 and have like 50 pages left or something would like to finish this today i am still really enjoying this although i will say that it mentions a lot of things in almost every question and also no matter what the question is the answer is usually like three lines but um it really digresses a lot i feel like it really just talks about the history in general black holes and the universe but it just sort of circles around all the time so it can get quite repetitive especially because it's just somehow it somehow finds a way to repeat a lot of things 
which is weird maybe those were like answered separately and then put into one so i've had the questions can we predict the future oh i went from is there other intelligent life in the universe and can we predict the future what is inside a black hole is time travel possible possible and the next one is will we survive on earth the other intelligent life in the universe was fairly interesting the predicting the future was not that interested um again i felt like it just went in circles which is quite annoying what is inside a black hole was also interesting i still really enjoy this book this book is a clickbait <laughs> like this book is legitimately a clickbait well i'm not mad about it i feel like some people could possibly be justifyingly so a little bit annoyed <laughs> when reading this but um yeah i don't have that much left just like that bit so hopefully i can read that at some point today it really depends on the question how interesting the answer is also <laughs> uh, logan like left and just sent me the photo of a thing and there's like this toy shop that like fixes toys but also this was in the window <laughs> look what the hell <laughs> oh man but yeah i want to listen to the audiobook when i walk and stuff of Nevernight, but i am now like in sort of like the middle but like there's like sections within chapters so i want to just now sit down and read the little bit before the next chapter so i can sh uh, start on chapter nine five or six pages away so i'm gonna do that and head for a walk and come back and continue being productive hopefully or at least doing some reading I have finally finished something. So I have finished the, the, the questions one. <laughs> I don't know what the editors were thinking about this one. Some interesting choices were made. Just because of the repetitiveness, it seemed like each question was made like individually. Overall, it wasn't really checked for repetitiveness and stuff like that. But as a non-fiction book, it's hard for me to kind of rate. It would be like, I think it would be like three out of five not three out of five, 3.5, but I don't really do five. So I think I'm gonna give it four because I agree with like the messages sent were really nice. I agreed with basically everything that was said and it was really interesting for the majority of time. But I think at like this bit and like onwards, like just the last quarter or something was just like the same repeated stuff. So that kind of um, wasn't the best, but so in reality it would be like three four stars but i'm gonna and also like it got me talking with like logan about some topics and it was like fun so i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a four stars but hooray i finally finished something oh my god it's nine o'clock now i'm gonna straighten my hair now because i really don't want to leave that till tomorrow um and i'm gonna put the audiobook i think for Nevernight because i didn't actually end up listening to that when i went to the shop i was listening to just music which is fine, but I'm gonna put um, Nevernight now while I straighten my hair, get a little bit of that in, so it's gonna be like a good reading day. My eyes are really bothering me, <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Guys, look at that. Five books behind schedule. Great. We need to talk, she replied. Brother. <laughs> Um, so just finished doing my hair um, This chapter I listen on zero point uh, sorry 1.25 speed It was still like 40 minutes or something and the chapter length was like 15 pages So I think this is pretty dense book. I think there's just like a lot on the page um, I'm just wondering how long it would take me to read this piece I am really enjoying it. I think I've mentioned this a couple of times now, but I think that um, the beginning of the book is always like the least interesting to me. And I think Nevernight in particular, it took like at least half of it for me to really get into. And then I think it was like, I was, I don't know why, but anyway, what I'm saying is that I'm enjoying this one more than I was enjoying the first one. And I'm so excited. I'm just very excited to be enjoying it. <laughs> It is quarter to 10 now and I think Logan's about to come back in like 40 minutes or something so I might not get that much red but I'm gonna continue and I think that's gonna be pretty much that for the evening I'm thinking I'm not sure we might watch something maybe like Chernobyl because is that on Netflix because that was another thing a lot of you guys recommended together with Lucifer I have not watched either of those yet so 
Maybe. So today has been a day. Actually, it started fine. And then the more time has passed, the deeper into the depressive mood I went. It was a mistake, definitely, to go and try and find something to wear in like warm weather because I literally have no dresses or anything for the holiday that's upcoming. But it's like there was like this massive cloud and it's just so numb. Um, but I kept having really dark thoughts and feeling really self-destructive. Like, te like constantly feeling like I'm gonna like start crying and tear up and stuff and came back and sat down like with Logan and stuff and just had a really like a sob session so I have like a headache but I think that the, the, the thing is lifting at least a little bit it was so heavy um, I don't really have that often I have this like fairly rare to this extent I was just really feeling bad like really yeah scary thoughts and scary everything and just really shit <laughs> i didn't really want to go on here and say that but at the same time i've promised to always be upfront with you guys and i am it's been a real shit day and i just honestly don't think there's anything left in me to cry with so this should be safe but i want to just try and i know it's gonna be gone tomorrow like it must be whatever like i don't feel like i'm talking in a productive manner here but just thought i'll let you know you know some days are bad like i'm always unwell in one way or another and i'm very often in pain pretty much every day and it gets to you sometimes you know and you just get tired a bit you also feel like well what do i have to be depressed about um and then you feel even worse for feeling the way you feel i i also know all of these thoughts are dumb it doesn't make them go away though but yeah such a fun way to end the vlog i mean it's not the end of the day yet get out of the funk i feel like i've cried everything like half an hour ago now so should be nice and dry now <laughs> even put like makeup and stuff and i filmed the video earlier like i've done stuff enjoy what's left of this sunday so i'll let you know how it goes hello <clears throat> So it is Monday, but I really didn't want to like um, finish on that sad note yesterday. I really didn't do a lot of reading because uh, my head was really sore after all the crying I've done yesterday. But I went on Instagram and I asked all of you guys on the stories to let me know what's positive that happened recently. And you guys bombarded me with positive things and that really helped. I did do a little bit of reading just before that, so I'm currently on page 130, um, it's not too much into it, but I have finished that one book this week, so that's good. I'm feeling a little bit better, the head is a bit like still bleh, but I'm optimistic, you know, and it's work day, so I'm just gonna get on with it and hope for the best. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Jokes! not actually finished yet i just got this in the mail and it's my lunch break so all in all good timing um and i thought instead of filming this separately i'm just gonna film it in here now so you can see it on this day because i'm planning hopefully uploading this video today because it is monday so if you're seeing it this was made today so basically i have may's paper gang and may's very loose. So I thought I was just gonna go ahead and open that for you. Let me get my scissors though. I'm gonna start with fairy loose because I really want to see stuff with my like own eyes. Um, obviously, as always, disclaimer, I am part of Team Fairy Loose since last September. So I'm very biased. I already know what's inside of the box. It's not a review whatsoever. It's just me showing you stuff because I want to share. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to see what you guys think. But the theme was unexpected romances. This is how it looks like. Theme card. 
that's always done by Tara. And on the other side, everything that's inside. Ooh, I'm so excited to see it. Oh my god. I'm so excited about it. Okay, first of all, this awesome thing. Um, it is a bamboo travel mug, which is eco-friendly and reusable, made from biodegradable bamboo. And it has art from KDP letters, and it is themed by Shatter Me. It's so much lighter than a ceramic one. I love this color so much, like the baby pink thing. You guys will probably know, because I've mentioned that many times. I'm just a bit, very big fan of it, especially with this like almost minty green. And once you take off the ring, this is how the artwork looks like. So on one side it says Ignite My Love Ignite which is this side <laughs> and on the other one is spent my life I spent my life folded between the pages of books and then you obviously have the little cover so it's great if you have a car and take hot drinks with you or if you would like to use a reusable cup for your coffee orders from Starbucks or the like then we have this tin of mints and it says relationship status basically single taken and then of course mentally dating a fictional character <laughs> the contents in here uh, if you need to check any dietary restrictions and it's a tin of mints and i think i might empty it and take it with me for uh, my meds okay my my chair keeps like turning me the other way do you see this why <laughs> anyway we have full candle with the label design from Tara again and the candle is made by Little Hearts Gifts oh it smells so nice very spring spring like and clean what does it have bamboo fresh lilies and soft woody notes vegan soy candle I love it I really am a big fan of it scents are obviously subjective so it might not be your thing but I really like it very nice very very much enjoy that i don't know why i'm speaking like oh yes okay so this is little velvety pouch with fairlit logo on it and this item you guys we have been working on for so long and it is a keychain which is actually pretty big but you can i know a lot of people will be using this as a like photo prompt and stuff but it is a crown for um, the cruel prince and it says kiss me until I am sick of it three times I believe like around the crown so I'm gonna see if I can show you this there it is oh it's out of focus again oh there it is <laughs> absolutely love this <laughs> then we have a little notepad for girls of paper on fire so we have some ornaments on the side there and the quote is I really should look at it instead of disappearing she makes me feel reappeared reimagined and this is for one of the bo uh, books that fairly has featured before then we have a um tea towel this is for collection. I am not personally in the fandom, but I know a lot of people were really happy with the item. Um, and the people are drawn by Tara and the lettering is done by Katerina Book Designs. True love is usually the most inconvenient kind. And this is how it looks like. So obviously you can use it as a tea towel, which is what I'm probably gonna use it for. But if you are really a big fan of the series you can obviously display it as well next up there is this um pencil case and it says once upon a time an angel and a devil fell in love it did not end well and this is from daughter smoke and bone and this um design is by by literary lifestyle and it has velvety suede um inside for it so that is cool as well then we have a selection of four different uh, magnetic bookmarks this is inspired by flame in the mist together with wrath wrath and the dawn characters i haven't read these but i would like to and the artwork is done by alexa arts A very last item before we move to the tarot cards uh this Malik sticker from the shadow hunters the art is done by obsidian i think it's really cute and yeah that's a 
that is a sticker. Then we have uh, the promotional item actually for Romanov. Um, and we come to the last two cards in the Six of Crows inspired tarot set. So we have Inej as the Hermit and Kaz as Temperance. And this, the art is done by Emily Haynes. And that is the last cards for Emily Haynes as well because the artists change every two fandoms. So the next one is gonna be a different one. And the fandom is gonna be my favorite one. Can you guess which one that is? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the book pouch. Bookmark as per usual featuring the theme art. I have quite a collection now. Uh, we have the fairy scoop which details also the read-along dates with me So if you want to read this book with me You can and it starts on June 17th for six consecutive days Then we have the beholder character art. This is done by uh, Rachel Hank and we have the dear reader letter from the author and last but definitely not least the actual book the beholder by Anna Bright and look at the pages they're the same like color as the mug <laughs> i love it i love it so much i actually had a copy of this book of the same inside pages as well i mean it might look white in the camera but it's not as baby pink it's signed and yeah the daughter of a seneschal of potomac she knows her duty is to find the perfect match a partner who will help secure the future of her people now that day has finally come but when the night of Selek's engagement ends in an excruciating public rejection, her stepmother proposes the unthinkable. Sela must set sail across the Atlantic where a series of potential suitors awaits. And if she doesn't come home engaged, she shouldn't come home at all. From English castle gardens to the fjords of Nor Norge, <laughs> And even beyond the borders of the dreaded Imperia Yotne, Sala's um, quest will be the journey of a lifetime. But as she searches for her future husband, she realizes that her stepmother's schemes aren't the only secrets hiding below decks. And the stakes of her voyage may be higher than any happy ending. Obviously, it's very romance-focused, as per theme. <laughs> what can I say? I really wish I had a dress like this because it just looks so damn pretty. <laughs> but that is the box for May. Hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing of it. I have still have a code for you guys to use actually, so if you want to, I will leave that down below. But let's get into Paper Gang. Paper Gang. This one I buy sometimes and then don't the other times. It's Oh Dear Company, and I do like them a lot. This subscription costs around 10 pounds plus shipping you do get your value because but it is a fairly expensive company oh dear so you get a value from them but obviously you could get these things like cheaper but different quality of course i'm taking a break after this box though because finances but i thought one more unboxing before i pause it for i don't know how long what i do really like about them is that they really often work pretty much on every box i think work with different charities and this one is with marine conservation society so one pound per box sold is donated towards the conservations of our seas coasts and marine wildlife which is huge and this is how the box looks like so we have a little leaflet of what's inside i like the theme oh narwhals and you have the pricing and everything on the side but i don't want to look at it just yet so the first stuff is this little narwhal enamel pin honestly i feel like enamel pins are quite expensive so the value is probably going to really hit it um so enamel pin is cost like it's priced here as 5.95 which is actually about right of the enamel pin costs um but then what i think this is gonna be for sure which makes me very excited also look at this fancy pouch um it's metallic straws i can hear that already and i use them all the time actually i have one right here and these i believe they're just not customized or anything but there are three of them which is really generous i wish that they included a little cleaning thing because if this is the first time people get them because we have the cleaning little brushes you know that you can put inside and then clean it but it would be good to have one with this as well because for those who don't but it's very generous to have three of them usually they come either one or two. Oh, <laughs> it says two so i think actually i got three by accident <laughs> not complaining about that but i think it's supposed to be two but i got three because it says two metallic straws 
uh, cost 550. Then we have a sticker sheet. So if you use stickers for your bullet journal or something like that, that could be pretty cool. Cool. Next up, we have their calendar cards that they stopped putting months on, so you can just basically use them whenever you want or also put them in your journals. Uh, next up is There Is No Planet B. Ooh, cool print. So this is like a print. And then lastly, but not least, but not leastly, <laughs> is this really cool, this really nice quality notebook. I love notebooks. I don't know if you know, but I love notebooks. Um, and I think this is a really cute design. It's not necessarily something I would go for, but because it's the darker colors, I don't mind. Feels so nice. I can't describe it, but it just feels so nice. Almost like rubbery, but not. Just really high quality. The only thing I said like, oh, for is that like, some people will love this. This is going to be a big hit for a lot of people. But like one side is blank and the other one is lined. I would love it if both sides were lined. But I understand that a lot of people would like to do the one stuff like that. But yeah, that is the size of this. This is like a, I think A5-ish, maybe A5. Uh, A5, perfect bound notebook that costs $8.95. So you definitely get your money's worth with the box. I mean, the stickers were a pound. What? Okay, the art print costs nine pounds, which it might be selling like that, but that's a lot <laughs> but regardless you definitely get your money's worth i think from this and it helps a good cause i really like this box actually um i'm sad i will take a little break but i'll just only once i resubscribe which i'm sure i'm gonna do at some point because i just i've been going with this box since like 2015 <laughs> so yeah once i resubscribe i'll just value it even more that now i believe is everything and i'm gonna go get some food inside of my belly and i hope you guys enjoyed this now for sure i'm gonna say goodbye um thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this and i will see you in the next one bye